I'm good. Crazy. No, my man, this is big for me. I appreciate you, brother. Let me say this off rip. I really appreciate you. Nah, brother. nah, man. You know it's all love, man. I just um had not a couple meetings out. It's still, you know what I mean. Right, right, right. So still, let's, let's get over here. You still with MTV? Are you still with Genius? Work Amazon? Where you at right now? Um, I'm still with Genius. Okay. But I'm not um my the talent portion of of my of my deal is no longer. Okay. So the 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 personality is a, is a free agent, but I'm I'm still an executive, so I'm doing a lot of things behind the scenes on that side. You always keep a low demeanor, but always it's like you're you're, you're on a low, but not on a low. Yeah, nah, it's shit. Like <laughs> you you it just gotta. I rather the work speak. You know what I'm saying, or or, or or just other people to recognize. You just gotta work to, you know, there's it, a lot of shit I'm involved in. People had like no idea, like, you know, even even like like. The Ice Spice record and shit like that, like really? they know I was involved in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Low key. Are so you gonna say nothing, though, fam. You just keep. Is it because you don't really care about that? Is it because you got uh, up? Yeah, it because it, it's about. I mean, I, I I said something about it, and whoever caught it caught it, and then after today is tomorrow. So the only thing that counts is what we doing today. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So so. You know that that's all that is. It's like we'll tally up the score at the end when 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 right. the career is over and we looking back at all the accolades. Cool, but right now I'm just I'm just trying to get it, man. Too much, too much of that reminiscing or or, or whatever. I'm just like, man, I'm just trying to build on what I got. Mm. So <laughs> I need to, I need to ask you this, Rob, because you're a hip hop head. I respect it, yeah. regardless of who we are not. I just like talking to guys like you and me. Yeah. I, I, I know I know we're not gonna agree. Oh, this is yeah. we recording live, right? We started. Yeah, we live, we live, we live, we live. We live. Yeah. Right it's just me and you, Rob. You know, yeah. you're a Brooklyn dude, right? Absolutely, Flatbush. Oh, you're a Brooklyn dude. Okay, you still Parker and Franklin, okay? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm from St. Paul's and Crook. Okay, okay. Yeah. I still used to Parker and Franklin too. Yeah. I mean, no, Kane and Ocean, probably Kane and Ocean. Kane and Ocean, yeah, yeah. So I'm right yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Um. What, what was your initial reaction, or where were you? I guess in the middle of the night when all these things are going down at Dreamville in Carolina, Cole decides to drop an apology. Can I say that, Rob? So to speak. Yeah. Well, technically, see, this is the journalist side of me. Okay. I mean, it was, but he actually never said I'm sorry. So, like, I don't, I don't okay, know. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. You're right. Now, yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I was in the crib. I was watching the stream. Um, okay. So I was in the crib watching it because. I mean, one is just Cole, um, and and you know, one of the the top in the game, right? Big three, mm -hmm. maybe maybe now that's debated. <laughs> but, <laughs> Give it to that, right? Right. You know, it's just big me. But now, nah, you know, I'm I'm watching because because I mean, it's Cole. You tune in for that. Um, mm -hmm. watch the Nikki performance too. I was like in and out watching it all day. Mm -hmm. Um, but caught Nikki, then then caught Cole. And one, because it's cold, and then two, obviously he dropped seven minute drills. So I I'm like, okay, a is he gonna perform the record? Okay. And what is he gonna say? Like, absolutely watching to see if he gonna put dot on that on that proverbial summer jam screen. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. From, from New York, you know what that is? Absolutely. Yeah. So so yeah, yeah, I was just in the crib watching. So all right, being that it was at the crib, is that a strike though? When you do when you say what he said at the crib, and let's break down what he basically saying, though, right? Yeah. Basically, I mean, it, it sounds for me, and I don't know how you feel about this. I did a blog on this three days ago when he dropped the initial joint, right? And I thought like this, Rob. My sentiment was it just didn't sound like he was inspired. Yeah, yeah. That that was my thing when I heard Seven Minute Drill, and and I put a a, a, a YouTube video up, and I I'm, oh. I'm doing my own content now. Like I said, content wise, I'm a free agent. Absolutely. I see, I see what you're doing. I know the work right. that you put in. This is a grind when yes. you're shooting yourself, when you're editing yourself, when right. you're figuring out SEO and the right hashtags to use and the right time of day to publish and, Absolutely, and, and all of that. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm doing all of that. I take none of that for granted. Right. But when Seven Minute Drill Drop, I did a video. And for me, right away, it, one, because because I understand rap, like, and I, I mean, I and I make music myself. I rap myself. Mm -hmm. I, I know what that is. Mm -hmm. Um, and, but really, if you just love it and you understand it, when I heard Seven Minute Drill, first of all, when I heard the beat, I'm like, I don't know if this is the right beat for for what is about to need to happen. And I love T minus. I think T minus is amazing. T minus got classic, the producer, the producer right here, right? Classic yeah. records. But I'm like, oh, this ain't this ain't the one, dog. Mm -hmm. 
And then when Cole just started rapping, the tone, just his tonality, his voice, I'm like, this this don't sound like he's ready for action. And, and this is Kendrick. This is not light work. Like, okay, round one, fight. We on. And just from his tone, to me, it sounded like he didn't want to be there. Like, like it was reluctant. I, I, I compared it to... This is how I got into my first fight, and I know a lot of people could relate, man. You okay. got a bully, you got a bully on the block. I, I, I had a kid who was bullying me on Crook Ave, and I six or seven years old, and I came home crying, upset because I was getting bullied. Mm. And my mom said, Hey, you got to go outside and fight him. And if you don't fight him, I'm gonna fuck you up. So you had you had to pick it was the pressure to go outside. So right. I went outside okay. with lucky. Okay. The pressure got have you, got right. you. So, so so to me that was my analogy and i had said that i said look man it don't sound like cole wants to be doing this and in the comments mad people told me i was hating i was i, I, I was dicky and I, the new shit is glazing yo you it, bro <laughs> like like yo you biased for can and i try not to be biased in my shit we all got biased right. we are human right, right, and i right, try right. not to be biased but i said yo when i heard it he just didn't want to be there and people told me I, w- I was just a Kendrick fan and I was hating and da da da. Lo and behold, bro I said, yo, I, I, didn't, I didn't really want to do it. But, 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 Rob, let me ask you a question. I'm going to cut your wisdom, but were you shocked? Because here's what I'm thinking. I want, I, I want to get your take on this. I feel like the last two, three years, Coleman telling niggas, yo, dog, I'm number one. I don't really yeah. see nobody. Anybody want to smoke? I'm here. My pen is working. Any I get out of pocket, it's on and cracking. That's the vibe I got. And- I'm listening to Cole, Rob. And it and it is his pen is working, right? Like, like, and we know because you you know you deal with MCs across the board, right? And mm-hmm. I want to make this distinction before I say this. Okay, there's the Royce the five nines of the world, there's the black thoughts of the world. There, 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 there are certain guys um who rap at an extremely high level all the time. Mm-hmm. And they aren't necessarily the most popular guys, and they don't even rap for everybody to get it. Absolutely, they're not trying absolutely. to make mainstream absolutely. records. Absolutely. So, so, so they are guys who are top tier lyricists. Cole is in that category too. It's a little bit different, but when you factor in when we're talking about mainstream commercial rap, and, and, and Cole could really rap. I'm not taking nothing away from Cole, but Cole blends a high level of lyricism with enough relatability for the masses to get the the mainstream mainstream area and everything right you're talking about right yeah okay got you got you so over the past couple of years nobody's rapping better than cole like taking that into account you know what i'm saying when i I just set up the landscape Mm -hmm. um so so the pen is working Mm -hmm. Now, now we're looking at the content different and based off of what he was saying, but the ca- Johnny P's caddy, the secret recipe with Yachty, um, first person shooter. He 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 came like Pablo Bolt with Royce the Five Nights. Pablo <laughs> Bolt with Royce the Five Nights. Like, 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 like he, he's been in his fucking bag. Absolutely. So, you know, I, I don't think we can question that. And I think anybody who questions that now. Is fooling themselves, dude. Is writing and rapping at a high level, and and, and you know, I, but I think what people are questioning now is is the boast and the the best ever, the chest beating and stuff like that. And I think that's what's rubbing the people the wrong way because if you say that, you got to back that up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and for me, it, it's two things. I think it's easy to say. I think I think a lot, a lot of um, and I know this from experience. A lot of times when rappers rap about being the best mm-hmm. sometimes there isn't a target sometimes like you know you're talking shit but it, it's to an imaginary mc it could be anybody like like there's not a specific target sometimes i think as fans we pick apart subs and sometimes the subs aren't even there i was like yo i wasn't even talking Ooh, to nobody true. i was just talking about being the best so right, I, I know right. a lot of rappers i know myself i've written from that perspective where i'm talking shit but i'm not necessarily talking shit to a person it's like affirmation it's like, yeah it's like waking up in the morning and just looking in the mirror and affirmation so and, and listen I, I do think cole was throwing some subs that we'll, we'll, we'll see he, he has to be honest about that but i think a lot of it is also just affirmation you're saying you're the best because i'm a rapper and that's what rappers are supposed to say mm. you know what i mean so yeah i, I think it, i think it might be hard maybe not for him to rap that now but i think going forward for a while it might be hard for people to hear that from him but Rob, you and I had a come about five minutes ago. We said he didn't really apologize, brother. Yeah. 
did he apologize though? We're really breaking this down. He he, he did. It, 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 I mean, he backtracked. He waved the right flag. He said, yeah. "Look," he said, he said, he said it, it was the lamest and goofiest shit he's done. Um, he said that that it messed with his spirit. He Rob, said, Rob, "Stay right there." I'm gonna yeah. as a as a person that loves hip hop and you do this for a living. That line wasn't cringy to you, Rob. Nah, I get it. As a human being, I get it. you know what really you know what really I got and what really made me understand. Right. And he said, Yo, I've been sleeping good for 10 years. Cause, Cause he talked about this journey of him. Cause I think there's an idea of what a rap is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And then rappers are, have real lives, right? So mm -hmm. so we know this shit. A lot of rappers front, right? A lot of rappers play the rapper role. And I think Cole has been honest about times that he got caught up playing the rapper role, whether it was trying to make that single for radio, do the thing that rappers do, whether it was that time. And I was there that year at the BET Awards. He shows up on the red carpet. I think it was with a Versace sweater and him, DJ Drama, French Montana, all wearing the same shit. Why? Because you shopped at the rapper store. You did the shit that the rappers were supposed to do. I, I think we've seen times in Cole's career where he got caught up like, oh, this is what a rapper is supposed to be. Mm. And then he'll backtrack and say, well, damn, that's not really me. Let me get back to self. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel but, like he found himself, though, as an MC. I thought the last couple of years, I felt like he found himself that niche, that niche that he wanted, where he's comfortable in his own skin as an artist. I felt the last couple of years. Yeah, you know I mean? me too. And then I think he got lost because even, even after the 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 BT Awards thing and Cole fans know what that was. That was like a big thing. He's talked about it before. Like he right. showed up on the red carpet and everybody's wearing the same shit. Cole, yeah, you got, you got, you got chastised for that. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm not even trying to be funny, but it's true. But it's not even disrespectful. But then after that, Cole kind of started dressing like a bum. It'd be expensive shit. He have the most expensive, <laughs> comfiest, bummy. Yeah. Like sometimes, like. But it worked for him. That was him. He was really yes. being comfortable. And he'll go out and sell out Madison Square Garden wearing mm -hmm. Crocs and 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 shorts. Again, they might be thousand dollars shorts, but they it looks right. compared to how other rappers look. Yes, yes, like, yes. Like yes. like cold damn near look homeless. You know what I'm saying? But right. but it worked for him. You know what I'm saying? So so you're right. I think he did find himself. And but I think that's a process. Like I feel I'm not making excuses, but if it sounds like he lost himself again. You, like you know what that is, but Rob, you and I from a different era when certain words are scorching hot that stuck to your soul, brother. I feel like the um, like that song with Metro Boomin and Future and them, Rob. It didn't warrant Cole to go to yesterday in Dreamville and at the crib and say what he had to say. I don't even think it was warranted to say anything, Rob. Do the show and go go to the crib. Yeah, but but he 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 did he did he didn't like his diss track like. Yeah, the light, the light that shit was light. Like, like this is clearly like if you studied this enough, you know, we often talk about Jay and Nas, so we talk about takeover and ether. Uh, People forget all the little things that came before. People forget the stillmatic freestyle. Bleak, bleak, oh, my, my mind right. Bleak on my right. mind right. My right, yeah, all of yeah. that. Like the uh -huh. lifestyle ran, who you supposed to be. But well, then Nas just, right. before that, Nas dropped the, the stillmatic freestyle over the the, the pain and full beat. Yeah. Izzo, you know right? what I'm saying? Yeah, is you H right. to the Izzo, M to the Izzo, yeah. rapper version of Cisco? Like, so, so people yeah. kind of forget the build up. So, I think right now we was in the build up, and I think Cole, after he heard like that, I think and he kind of said it there's pressure to respond. Your people's is calling you. He said he had a thousand missed calls. Your people's yeah. calling you, and yeah. it's a pressure to respond again because this is what rappers are supposed to do. Now, it's again playing the rapper role. Oh, yeah, somebody diss you, you better respond. Again, like that story I told about my moms. Oh, they outside bullying you? You better go outside right. and handle that. But well, see, I go back to the John P. Caddy's verse. He talked hella crazy on Benny. Like, I, Benny's my guy. Yeah. He got Benny out of there, man, respectfully. You think that was about Benny? You Do you think? I, I know that's the speculation. You people think say I'm reaching with that. People, when I say that, people say I'm no, reaching. No, I've heard that uh, plenty of times. Like, yeah. Is that a reach? You think that Cole... I don't th I don't think he did it. I think he has too much respect for Benny. I think it lines up, or it lines up that if you wanted to battle Benny, these are things that you would say. Well, listen, you and I seen Styles P on Reservoir Dogs take shots at home. I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> fuck who you <laughs> are. I get I give you one better, and this happens. People ask, do get at it. I, I hadn't I hadn't realized this. One of my favorite records 
is um notorious big and the locks you'll okay. see bad boy bad, bad boy. boy what you gonna do you remember that record absolutely i still play to this day absolutely so, so i i was i was with the locks one time okay. and i was interviewing them it's probably still up and we were talking about that record and i was like yo do y'all remember how that go and then kiss was like yeah you heard how big was getting at us and i was like nah you thought big was dissing y'all on that record he they, he was like yo you didn't hear it yeah so when big come niggas talking it but ain't living it he was like they was like yo that was about us because we was just coming in the game we was talking right. all that fly shit and big right. knew we didn't have it so i say all that say that goes on you definitely get on somebody's record look oh, oh, cool j cannabis or four yeah. minutes i've always just cannabis on it I've done it in the past, like you know what I'm saying, and I'm not even at that level. But I, somebody paid me to jump on a feature, and I kind of got at him because I heard something in his verse I ain't like. I thought he was trying to line me up, so I did. So it absolutely happens. Um, I, I don't think Cole was trying to get at Benny though. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I, 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 who knows? But and and even so, look, Benny is is a hustler. I right, I take it. Cool. Hey, listen, Rob. Give, give, give me my gold plaque. <laughs> but listen, you're MC though. Yeah, you know, drop another verse if you're Benny. Nah, well, Cole sent you that verse. You don't drop another verse, Rob. No, not on not not on that record. Nah, I would have let the record stand, right? Mm -hmm. Because I'm not going back and changing the verse. If I send you my verse, I'm confident. And if that's what you did on that record, right. then that's the record. But see, this Lloyd what? Banks. I love Lloyd Banks' recipe. Banks will do this. Banks will have a feature with somebody, right? He drops the first verse. The feet, the guest drops the second mm -hmm. verse. Banks make sure he drops the second he, he drops verse. The third verse. I get it. I get it. And shout, and shout, shout the banks. Like right. that's somebody you do not want to fool with. But me, Absolutely. me personally, if I felt like somebody was getting at me on my record and my feature, right. I wouldn't change the verse. I would leave it. Okay, okay. You leave it. Okay. And I would get you on the next record. The next record I'm dropping, we addressing it. We, I'm, I'm gonna keep the record, the record. Like if that's how you gonna play, I'm gonna keep the record, the record. But I'm still getting at you. But I'm gonna keep that record intact, and mm -hmm. and 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 it's going. We are gonna shoot back another way. Before I get back to Drake, right quick, do you remember the song that Ransom had a song of Race the Five Nine, right? And Ransom let Royce rap wow long on there. I said, Ransom, I call Ransom as a Ransom. <laughs> Why is Royce rapping five minutes on your song, my guy? And you rapping like two, three minutes of change. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> that's why that it do be crazy when you be like, hey man, just send me back a 16 and they give you a 32. It's like, man, what you trying to do? I'm <laughs> we might have to have a discussion after that, but but for me, the etiquette right. is always. And I don't collab. I, I don't collab with a lot of. I haven't had a lot of known collaborations. Right. When I reach out to, the, to to somebody to collaborate, I give you the whole song, the framework of the song, and then you do what you do. Gotcha. If, you, if, if you're gonna out rap me, cool. Like that's yeah. just what it is. But I, right. like, I did a record with Styles P called Next Check. Okay. And um, and dog, that that's Panero, dog. Like, the ghost. Like, <laughs> like, 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 you know what's what's coming back in the mail, like. But so I had to be right with myself. Like, am I confident enough in what I did that whatever he comes back with, I could still stand on it? Mm -hmm. And I was, and to this day, I still stand on it. I, I think Styles is one of the greatest, but to me, it could go either way. Mm -hmm. And we wasn't even competing like that. Like, like he blessed me. But what what I'm saying is, is, is on that record that. I ain't get out class. I ain't look crazy rhyming next to. Well, were you like, competing? Were you competing? on styles might not compete. Were you competing? No, I. I you know why? Because when when I when I did the record, when I did that record, I just had a verse and yeah. the hook, and I was done. I didn't have nothing more to say. And when I listened to it, I said, "Damn, Styles will sound right on this." So when I was doing it, I wasn't thinking about Styles. Was like an afterthought. So he just fit the record. I wasn't competing, but. I wouldn't have sent him the record if I wasn't like confident in my right. verse. It wasn't even about being better than him because like, how do you compete with 20, 25 years, 30 years of LOX? How do you compete with that? You can't. The dude is is, is a goat and we respect him. But if I, if I thought my verse wouldn't stand up, I wouldn't have sent him the record because I don't want to look crazy rhyming next to him either. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so to this day, I'm still happy with my, how my shit turned out. His shit was fire. 
It should sound dope together to me. You know what I'm saying? We, we, yeah, it, was, it wasn't that type of energy. Right. When Cole says people dis disrupted my peace and spirits, is that more like the online thing? Is that an online social media Probably. thing that more Probably. than the rapper itself? Probably, but but also, also Cole and Kendrick are friends. Like I was yeah. there the, the day that they met. I feel like it was at the Double XL Freshman cover when Cole was on the cover, J Rock was on the cover, Kendrick was with J Rock. The whole TDE camp was there. Um, J Cole produced High Power on Section 80. Like that's how far they go back. They talked about doing this album together. They probably have a couple of Lucy's in the stash, but never did the album. But I think I think Kendrick has has, has admiration. I I think part of it was like, yo, this is my man too. Like I just I I don't want to compete against this guy now. Also. You went for a long fight, like you don't like who wants to fight with you know that's like fighting Tyson in the 80s. Like I, you could beat him. We saw Tyson lose, we saw Buster, Buster Douglas, Douglas yes, do it when we I'm not saying Cole is Buster Douglas. <laughs> right, we're not saying that. We're not saying that. Nah, nah, nah. Kendrick Kendrick's not invincible, right? But when you step in the ring with that guy, you know you went for you went for a long 12 rounds, right? Absolutely, absolutely. If, if you could last the 12 rounds, so I I I think it was part of like that I don't just think that was his energy. I don't think where he was at. I, th I think Kendrick disrupted him. I think he was doing that. That Mike the later project was coming out. Mm. This is why this is the last song on the project. He Good tacked point. it on. The project was, look, it came out the Friday before Dreamville. You don't think they was planning this for a while? Right, of course. That Everything. album had to be coming out, and he'd been talking about the fall off. So Ken, um, Cole was in one frame of mind, and I think Kendrick disrupted what Cole was doing, and 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 he got Cole out of character a little bit. So, Rob, let me ask you this: Do you feel Drake now feels look, go back to what pressure, right? Does he feel pressured now because if if we're saying Cole is waving the white flag, right? Does that mean Drake feels like I'm not doing that? I'm not doing what he did. I can't do that. Drake not doing that. I don't think Drake. <laughs> you, got, I, Drake you got Drake not doing that either. Me neither. I don't think he's gonna do that. I don't, I don't think. Know that already he's battle tested more than those two. right that, that that was never an option for drake that was another thing you know i'd be doing my daily videos on, on, on ig and i do right. weekly videos on youtube and the internet is so people get so riled up about this right i i had said i had said earlier like drake is not going back down i said drake is battle tested and people argue me down he's not battle tested i was like listen i don't care whether you think he won or lost the dude has been in some shit. He he never really ducked, and 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 you could argue the Joe Budden thing, but they were in a weird space. Joe was kind of one foot in, almost one foot out. It was wild, no, he was wild. retirement. Yeah. Cole, I mean, um, Drake dropped some subs at him on the French Montana record, and uh, Budden careers had. I see Budden careers talk about other careers. They came a little bit later. He kind of waited till the retirement was in full, but. It really wasn't like, and I'm not giving Drake a pass for this, but it was really one like Button wasn't on the same level. He could strategically ignore Button for a while, mm. like in a way that he can't strategically ignore Kendrick. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's not a shot against Button. It, it's just you know everybody then leans on sales. Oh, I got I sell more records. Why should I respond to you? But look, he he, he responded to Common. Because Common started that. I'm glad you went there. There you go. Continue. Finish your food. Common Com started that with Sweet. And then uh, it's mm -hmm. funny when the guards get to acting like the bro. And I love Common. This I love is, Common. This is the bitch in you. That, like, Common is no fucking walk in the park. Mm -hmm. and, and he got Common out of there. Pe people were mad when I said he got Common out of there. He got Common out of there. Mm -hmm. And then people say that he ducked Pusher. I like the way you say that, Rob. I like the way you said that. <laughs> he did, though, right? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Who he won that thing? I, I like all right. See, I, I gotta take my feelings out of there because I love common, right? Common I got love album. Common. common and P Rock could drop an album smooth, so I can't wait to hear that. Um, but yeah, he did. I'll give Drake that. I give Drake that. I give Drake that. He got a common. Yeah. He got a Rashid Hard. He did. Then, then people said that he ducked Pusher and, and he didn't duck Pusher, he engaged with Pusher mm -hmm. and he lost. Mm -hmm. You know, he lost his, his problem with Pusher was that. First of all, yeah, Duppy was dope. Isn't Duppy wasn't a whack record oh, at all? He straight. He was a straight record. It was good. But he, but he but he he didn't he didn't see the clear and present danger. He like he most of that record is aimed at Kanye. Mm -hmm. 
when push is like, no, I'm 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 Pac, I'm the one you should be worried about. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, <laughs> over here, right, right. And then and then push a drop added on and the white flag. Yeah, he said, Hey, close. I'm I'm not this I'm not willing. What what it is is, and we're not even talking about street shit. I'm not willing to go there with the, the for whatever line Kendrick had, I mean Drake had in this battle rap, him and Pusha's line wasn't the same. Mm. So once Pusha and all and to me, all fair is in, in love and war. Love you know, war. I come from right. you know Paris when the room is over, Roxanne Shante. Pac said you claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. Like motherfuckers just said some foul shit. Now, did 40 deserve that? No. I mm. wouldn't have said that about 40. I think 40's a nice guy. But you can't... But Drake said the man's wife's name. You can't mm. then start to measure what the response is. So, so all I'm saying, right or wrong, however you believe it, their lines was different. The lengths that they were willing to go to get these rhymes off was different. Right. And once Drake heard what type of time push it was on, he said, you know what? I bow whether Jay Prince told him to or, or whatever. Like, I'm not doing this no more. It's not worth it to me. And so that's a L. So I say all that to say Drake engages in this shit. He lives for this moment. So I I, I fully, I fully, 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 fully expect Drake to respond and, and do something. You cover hip hop hard here. Let me ask you, do you feel people feel like Drake is reluctant? I'm not gonna say scared, reluctant to, to go at Kendrick. Again, I I I think he's more strategic. Okay, because he could have look after control. It could have really been something, but you know, Kendrick dropped control, which I didn't think was a diss. I think everybody overreacted to control. I still don't understand why people were so mad. Kendrick well, just said ran to the studio except fam. <laughs> Kendrick just said the quiet part out loud. All, hey, all hey. these rappers are thinking about yo. I want to be number one. I want to take your yeah. fans. Like yeah. this is the type of time Kendrick's on. He been told you, but. Um, Drake dropped the language. Then it was the nothing was the same since I tucked the mm -hmm. sense of the rapper in his pajama clothes. Oh, that was hard. Um, that was hard. It, there's been shots back and forth. Mm -hmm. Um, I think Kendrick has always wanted to smoke, and, and Kendrick is ready. Drake more than Kendrick. Yeah. Cool. I, I would think. Right? You saying? Are you saying that? Yeah, yeah. Though I, I kind of feel like you ever saw the forty year old version. When, when they was fighting in, in, in the Best Buy store, and, 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 and Kevin Hart was like, "Oh, that's your man." Oh, well, he's getting, he's getting it too. Like, Guilty by association, almost. Like, yeah, almost. I think I think that's what it was. But I'm saying, um, Dot, Dot always wanted to smoke. Mm -hmm. I think Kendrick respond. I mean, I mean, I think Drake has responded with subs, but hasn't met the challenge i think he's been more strategic mm -hmm. I, I think he has been reluctant again because you that's no walk in the park but also people got to think about how long this stuff play out like pusha pusha and 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 drake go back for exodus 23 one like that, that that's been playing out for years the whole kanye drake uh shit has been playing out for years i'm on one Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Years now, five minutes. Something, something for the throne. Watch me take it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Over my dead body. Drake was shooting at Sean. Get it Sean. while you here, boy. Because all this shit won't feel the same next year, boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he's been getting that good music. I mean, this is like 2011, yeah. 2012. So these things take a long time. So I'm not, I'm not necessarily faulting Drake for being strategic. And, and, and Kendrick has been clear, I think, that he wants to smoke, but now I think it's at a point where you can't ignore it. He's going, he's gonna have to, he's gonna have to say something and say something real. What's your take on to Pippa Butterfly? I just classic. Think I got it as a four and I might have an album for me. Yeah, I, I rated it. I was doing ratings on Sway Show at the time. People got mad at me. I rated it a 9.5 out of 10 when, mm -hmm. when it first dropped. So I think that's the same four and a half, Mike. Yeah, I, I, just, I, I love Mama. How, how much a dollar cost, Mortal Man? I love all them joints, man. Mama, I love all them joints. Huh? And, and, and people, and people, people talk about 
how that album is sleepy and and boring and complexion West Wesley Stereo like all this but, shit. But, but li listen, and now we talking about black music. And now we talking about who really knows music. Like yes, there was jazz on that album, but so much of that album is rooted in P funk. We talking about Parliament. Oh yes, yes, absolutely. We, we talking about the same ingredients and gumbo that Dre was using on the on the Chronic. Mm -hmm. That record had joints designed to make you move. Like a King Kunta, stop playing with me, man. Yeah, King like, Kunta's fine. I like, love that album, Rob. I love and, it. And 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 there was there were shots on that one too. I could dig rapping. Motherfucker with a Ghost Rider. What the fuck happened? I swore yeah. I wouldn't tell. But most of y'all sharing bunk. <laughs> what is that? Most of y'all sharing bars like a man in the bunk with a two man cell. True friends. One question, bitch. Where were you? Like, you ain't catch that. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, catch that, Rob. No and that, shit. And, and that's before that. That's that's a little bit before we find out about Quentin Miller. Mm. I could dig rapping, rapping with a Ghost Rider. What the fuck happened? Like, like Kendrick. Kendrick is a chimney man. He want all the smoke. I think. I think he's a bully. I love him. Mm. But, but you gotta understand who he is. He's a human being. He's complex. Mm. Yes, he's the good kid from the Mad City. You know, um, so Pimper Butterfly was all about survivor's guilt and him getting rich and being able to see the world mm -hmm. while his people still are going through the same shit back at home. Mm -hmm. Damn is 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 a little more of that, but it's like this reluctant superstardom. Mr. Morale is him dealing with his flaws and his his own. But right. I'm just telling the story. Right, right, of course, of course, of course. And now I think we're going to see, I, I don't know, Kendrick is on some bully shit because he could have left it alone. I, 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 And I think he's owning it. He's like, yo, I, yo, I'm from Compton. And when we want something, we take it. Now, you said bully shit. Does that mean that because Cole threw the white flag in, does that mean Kendrick is going to do the same thing or is he going to still try yeah. to bully this shit? Because most I, I, bullies just bully him. I, I, I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't think I don't think he'll keep on with Cole. Okay. Yeah, I I, I think you got to respect where he at. He might, he might say like a slick shit. Like he might just say like, "See, I told you they ain't want it" or some shit like that. Like he might say something slick, but I I don't, I don't think he. What can you say to a man to say, "Yo, my spirit is in the line to do this"? The, the the thing that struck me about the Cole thing was Cole said, "What got me and what I related to when Cole said, "Yo, I've been sleeping good." For 10 years, these past two nights, I haven't slept well. When it disturbs your sleep, like I, I don't know how I, I wanted oh, a battle oh, too. What are we doing? Listen, I, I wanted a battle too, oh. but when the when the shit keep oh. you up at night, maybe, yeah, maybe this ain't for you. This you is not kind of your baby see kind of bars, my guy. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody again, everybody's line and threshold is different. Maybe again, they were friends. Maybe Cole knows where it's gonna go. Did, Maybe did, Kendrick knows something about Cole that we don't yeah. know that he feel like, damn, we keep going down this line, it might go there. I don't know. But he said, bro, I don't want this energy. And I respect it. Rob, the man said that people wanted to see blood, right? I think that's a bunch of BS. I don't think, like you just, a, a second ago, you had, you, had, you had a conversation about them being friends. I remember Punch, I think right after the diss track, Punch went on, on Twitter, and I'm paraphrasing now, he alluded to, to the fact that this is not no real beef type shit and we already knew that so when cole is saying people want the blood no i think we just want a lyrical warfare not blood. yeah i think that's what he was i think he was talking metaphorically i okay, I, I don't I, I don't i don't think that he ever thought that I, I don't know anybody who ever thought that yeah them two guys ain't going out like that it's but, not like, listen they got people around them um it's and i don't know so much for cole i'm not saying cole don't get down but right. kendrick coming from where they come from like right, 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 and right. the pedigree there's people around that, that it could get serious but i I think I think them and both their camps have enough respect for the art form where nobody feels physically threatened, thus nobody will be physically harmed. There's just no reason for that to go there. So when, when he said that people wanted blood, I, I thought he was speaking metaphorically. People wanted to see the, the clash of the titans, and he, and he just wasn't into that. Because, look, to be in a battle with anybody, but especially somebody like Kendrick, you got to be ready to go all in. Again, push a T was ready to go places that Drake wasn't ready to go mm. on them records. Like you you got to be able to take it there cuz you don't know what's going to what he's going to throw back right. at you. Right. 
Mm. And I, I don't think Cole was ready to take it then. I, I, I think it's just as simple as that. He was just like, man, I'm not, I'm not trying to do this shit. But to take back all the things he said, I didn't mean to say Kendrick album was really good. No, that was crazy. Well, 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 well let's be real. Yeah, I, I feel you. It wasn't that serious. It wasn't like yeah, he said yeah, something about his wife or his kids or something. Yeah, like, it wasn't it wasn't, like, like you said, it wasn't the baby in the condom scene. Oh, well, it wasn't none of that. But, but also, I said this in my video when people said I was hating on Cole. Mm-hmm. And, and and you you're, you're actually more way more in tune with battle rap than yes, I am. Like, you know what I'm battle rap, yeah. Where they say the worst things, Rob. But <laughs> but but you know about in, in battle rap and, and whenever even on record battles, but in battle rap, it's all about the angle. What angle is he going to take? What he, you know? I, again, I'm not the most well versed, but I love when when he was in his prime, like Loaded Lux mm-hmm. and Calico, like right, that right, angle right. was right. everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So so sometimes you don't even have to be the best, but you get the right angle and you take a little bit of the truth or the perceived truth and you p- twist it and present it in the type of way and you'll look make your opponent look crazy. Mm-hmm. What I had said was, so so we really thinking about the science of this shit when they get down to the disc records. Mm-hmm. Jay said, nah, so, you know why I wasn't mad at Super Ugly? Because Jay told him you know who did you know what would you know no, who? Let's so let's keep that between me and you right and then Nas on ether I, I mean again coming where we come from you can't tell another man he got dick sucking lips that's crazy Nas flag on the play 20 some traveling 20 seconds <laughs> so so again right like like wheeling it back and, and mm-hmm. who, who, no matter whose side you on or what you think is right, right that was strategic. That was an angle. Nas and and, and Jay were, were playing angles. So when Cole came, and I so the first thing I said, well, what's the angle? Mm. Okay. And when the angle was, first of all, he took Jay's bars. He took the the same angle that Jay took versus Nas. Right. And mm. I'm like, ah, this is gonna, this is not gonna work for you because well, not. I'm gonna tell you, average that didn't work then, Cole. Respectfully, my guy, I wasn't jacking that. But but because it wasn't true, it was like, yes, his first shit was classic, classic, sleepy. The new shit was tragic. Da da da. It just wasn't true. And then if you're comparing catalogs, Cole's catalog is amazing. Cole is one of the greats of of this mm. era. Cole will go down as one of the greatest ever. Cole has a, a spectacular catalog. The drive and all that, but Kendrick has given us one of the best three album runs ever in hip hop with Good Kid, Pimple Butterfly, Damn. You it's know, up like, there, Red Man and Mar- it's up there, Outcast, okay. Gay, um, um, EPMD. Ghost, Ghostface gave us a, a great three run out. Like it's up there. EPMD like it's and all that, I give you PMD and stuff like yeah. Uh, so, Mar- so. To me, it was a bad angle to begin with. Like, if this right. is the angle that you're starting with, it's just bad. Like, it just wasn't well thought out. You know what I'm right. saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I, 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 I just questioned what he was doing. So, does Cole right now? What's going? What do you think? He just <laughs> did he expect the backlash? He had to expect that, though. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. he knows. See, he, he's not. He's not. He's not an idiot. He, he, he's gonna get memes for a while. He's gonna be the the butter the jokes for a while but here's my thing anyway oh, can you just call kendrick and say all that instead of doing it on stage nah because I, at least me I'm, I'm from the era of hey you got to deliver the apology the same way you deliver the insult you deliver the insult for the for the right. whole world to see right okay. um but 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 check it out he was kind yeah, of in a no-win situation once he dropped that record mm-hmm. Really, what he should have done was he should have never dropped the record. And his response to Kendrick should have he should have took the high road on, on a record. Okay. And just say, hey man, I'm not going here with you. Da, 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 you know, G Money. Oh, you're right. You're right. You know what? Right? I think about that. If he doesn't do the diss track and just does what he did yesterday on Dreamville, right? We're not having this conversation right now, basically. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, nah. So he, he should have done that, but he did the record because he thought he had to. He said it. His people's gassed him up. Again, the rapper role is the same reason you wear the Versace shirt. Right. You do it because you're a rapper, and this is what rappers, this is what we're taught rappers had to do. So he didn't he didn't take into account his individuality. And then after then he kind of saw what it was. The reaction was bad. 
Plus, I think in his heart, he knew, damn, the things I said on this record, I didn't really believe. You know, Cole is at his best when he's giving us truth. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And, uh, man, it's true. I can't stand by this record. This shit don't feel right. I'm going to wave the white flag. But check it out. His heart wasn't in it. You, you, when you heard Absolutely. Seven Minutes, you, his heart yes. wasn't in it. You tell that. Guess what? If his heart wasn't in it, he was going to lose that battle anyway. They could have went three rounds, and he would have lost. Because, again, you have to be all in. And then he's he, he choosing that point. I'm like, yo, you got the 3001 beat is fire. Crocodile, the beat that, like, you got this man. That crocodile tears is crazy. Yeah, that's that's beat. Like, he rapping off that. Well, they said again, they didn't take it seriously. One, I think he was in a whole nother zone. Um, T minus said that they made that beat in seven minutes. That was Cole does this thing called the seven minute drill where it's just go to the studio, whatever you come up with in seven minutes. They did that in seven minutes. You gotta get the second beat. The, I think conducted. I think conductor. conductor. Yeah, the conductor shit was a little was better. Like the, his well, tone, well, his tone shifted too. Yeah. On that, the the thing where he fucked up on the conductor beat is he he just gave us the same angle. He he reused more of the J bars that he used in the first one. His heart just wasn't in it. So look, you know how the internet works. The yeah. internet is gonna clown him for a while because of this. Yeah. That's how the internet do. But if he would. He would have took an L again because his heart wasn't in it. And if he took an L to Kendrick, the internet would have clowned him anyway. So he's not an idiot. He he knows, but he'd be I. Right. I think I think um he'll give us a record that that'll reflect whatever his truth is. And I, you know, I think that's his superpower. I think by the time the fall off comes, he's gonna give us a great album. I hope still, and he's gonna be all right. I don't want to see his career ruined. No, at all. No, I want to see but, Cole. Uh, what? I rapping. But you, you you gotta hold this out. It's like don't you gotta hold this out. <laughs> you gotta hold this out, though, fam. Um, the rules. Let me ask you about a few rappers here. We wrap it up here. Um, what's your take on Griselda? Well, you gotta be more specific. Well, you know what? I I, I just tell you. I I, I tell I tell you clean. <clears throat> I think what they've been able to do for hip hop is amazing, particularly the underground scene. Um, you know. The first time I heard um, Conway and Gun was on a Sky Zoo record. Mm, okay. So, so, so love this, Sky Zoo, love Sky Zoo. Yeah, nah, incredible. Like okay. talent, like underground, like legend. You know what I'm saying? Supreme lyricist. But th this is the cloth that they are cut from. This is kind of where they come from too. First time I heard them personally, me was on a Sky Zoo record, maybe in 2014, okay. maybe it was 2015. Um. I think what Griselda was able to do and, and what Gunn was able to do with the label was become boutique. And, and though they remain underground and true to their roots and their core tenants, and like, first of all, they were underground dudes, but they dressed with, they dressed like two chains. Like, like, like they, again, when we talk about that, that rapper role, mm -hmm. um, you know, they were doing European fashion, you know what I'm saying? They were doing like big, Jewelry, pave, big Cuban link. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and so, so so when you looked at them, though their sales weren't the equivalent of of some of the more mainstream rappers, if you put them in the room, you couldn't tell who was out selling who. That's so true. I, I I say that to say I, you know I think they elevated the aesthetic of underground rap, and mm -hmm. while still staying true to who they were one like they necessarily switched up the sound now benny being on def jam with the major label deal you know we'll kind of see where that's going um and and benny i think expressed that yo i'm not trying to make the same music i've been making and that's fine if that's his choice yeah. um but I, I think griselda's been good for the game because i think they opened the game up i think i think a lot of you know we're in this era where you see the numbers on everything you open spotify you see how much something stream and people use that number to judge how good a song is you open youtube you see how many views yeah. it got and it's like ah this only got twenty thousand views it can be good and sometimes yeah. some of our best shit is, is the least seen i think griselda opened it up and opened people's minds up that yo you don't necessarily have to be the major label artist with the most streams or or, or whatever and you can still make good shit for the culture we understood that coming from where we came That's from I, I i don't i don't think the kids who go to coachella or rolling loud, or yeah, right, you know, right, they ain't right, necessarily right, recognize right. that. So I think they opened the game up. So I, I, th I think Griselda's been dope. They, they're not getting sturdy to Griselda, right? <laughs> right, right, right. So I think um, Griselda opened the game up for that reason. Boldy James, 
Boldy is dope too. Um, I love the stuff that he's done with Alchemist. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not like the biggest, but I know people love, but like people are like diehard like Boldy fans. Yeah, I, I can't, I couldn't go track for oh, yeah. track with you like but, that. Like, 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 like I know Boldy, I respect it. Um, he isn't necessarily my favorite. He's an acquired taste, man. Yeah, yeah. You like Boldy or you don't like him? I don't yeah, even between. It's not even that. It's not even like a not like. I just can't. The monotone flow? No, I I, I just can't sit here and tell you every record. I can't right, tell right. you like I've been following his career step yeah, by step. Alchemist, though. I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. When, him, when, him, when him and um they did the Bo Jackson joint, yeah, yeah. When him and, uh, and Out been doing it is it, amazing. Um, But, you know, I respect it. But, again, I think that's the Griselda effect, right? Like, they mm -hmm. opened it up for, for guys like Boldy. Because I remember Boldy even before – um. Griselda, right. um, so, so so I I, I think he, he they they open up a lane for guys to exist and 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 you know kind of be themselves and find their own niche and 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 their their market in the game and really capitalize off of it. You know, same thing with a with a stove guard. You know, what I'm saying like I, I remember when he was going by Aaron Cooks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying running with Lord Jamar and everything. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, absolutely, and, and was supremely talented at then. Mm -hmm. And and it's dope to see him continue to find his lane and elevate. Yeah, I wish he dropped an album at least. I mean, come on, gun, let that man drop an album. So, come on, <laughs> damn, brother. Um, come on, couple more here. Uh, Rome Streets. Yeah, Rome, Rome is is dope too. Again, not like I ain't all the way into. I couldn't go track to track right, with you, right, but right. yeah, Rome is cool. Yeah, okay. ransom. Rans, I mean, come on, man. What what can you say? I'm happy for that dude. I'm happy. What, what can you say about Rans when you look at um? The DJ Clue era, man. Mm -hmm. The 18. When you look at where it came from, mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? Um, one of one of my favorite posse cuts, you know, when we talk about posse cuts, family reunion is one of my favorite joints. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and just mm -hmm. the way um they all flowed on that, right? It was Joe, it was Rand, it was Hitchcock. Um yep. Yep, 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 yep. Fab, right. Your Incredible family. record. Um, so so to see where Ran is at now, um, again, like just owning it, like 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 he's almost in his own space, like he's almost his own genre. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, and he talks so much shit. Like yeah. <laughs> Ran yeah. believes he is the best rapper breathing. You can't and, tell that man nothing. <laughs> and you can't tell him different. And he walked like it and he talked like it. And he I produced know, like that. And and, and, and and yeah, his last album was dope. But the shit, the shit that he's pointing out, like I it's dope to see him in that space, man. Um, mm. I haven't I haven't seen or spoken to Rand in years. Mm. Um, but I'm super happy for him um and where he's at now. Again, just being a fan from you know, I first heard of him on the clue tape, you know mm. what I'm saying? And that right. era meant so much to us. What about the drill, the drill movement? What do you think we should take on the drill movement? It's it's cool. It ain't it ain't. You know what I mean? Like it ain't it ain't really my thing. Um, I, you know I I think, you know I think pop got it. Pop smoke, rest in peace. Yes, and, pop, you know, man. look, I think it's a youth movement. You know what I'm saying? I I'm I'm not hating on, on what those right. those guys are doing, but eventually, like, it has to elevate into. One, not being so fucking dangerous, like it, like like, and and it's gotten better. But for years, it was like a, a yeah, it was war cry. It, it was literally songs telling you about what happened in the street up to the. It was like the CNN for what was going on, you know, in the street and how many kids we lost because of that, incarcerated, you know, mm -hmm. Chef G, free Chef G, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, I just want to see those group of kids in that genre um turn it around and become legit stars i think favio is trying to even change his music a little well, bit of course no but you have to like Favi is definitely like drill but he's elevated it like pops yeah. album wasn't just drill he brought it in the it. sound a bit yeah. you know mm -hmm. look again you talk about ice spice like like munch is, is a drill beat mm -hmm. but she made it way more pop you know right. what I'm saying, and and, right. and and use that, and and it was the sound, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I, I I love what Sleepy Hollow is doing right now. I think Sleepy is um, oh, Chef G's man, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah man. Shout out to Sleepy. I, I I love what Sleep again is drill 
and it comes from that but like his anxiety record that he dropped last year with dochi like it's just elevated it's like yo showing that hey he don't have to sleepy don't gotta prove who he is chef don't gotta prove who he is but hey i'm an artist now and i can make these different records as well and 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 we don't just got to be confined to new york city and shooting at each other you know what i'm saying it's a bigger picture here so um you know that's that I, but i really like I, out of everybody i really like what sleepy is doing right now doing? yeah okay. my brother rob man i appreciate you taking your time just to give me some gems here man you know what i mean i really really appreciate you know what you do for the culture of hip-hop my brother appreciate you man Nah, it's all good, man. You know, man, you, you gave me that call. I said, yo, let's figure it out. <laughs> I, I thought, I ain't going to lie, like, you got into your interview, but I ain't know what to expect. You know, I ain't even asked you no questions. You just you didn't know. Me. You asked me nothing. You just fucked up. up. I was like, all right, cool. What are we doing? <laughs> I thought we was really going to go at it. Because I, no, no, no. I, I know I know how I know how passionate you get. Yes, um, yes, yes. I know yes, how yes, much yes. you love this shit. I love hip-hop, like, man. Like, like I, I, know, I know you have a certain... um morals and 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 just mm-hmm. belief system that you believe and, and, and you stand on it so i i was like oh we're gonna go at it because I, I i i know my man don't like this j cole shit we gotta go at it. i guess because i'm supposed to be that early i speak to a lot of people earlier i you know, i text you race right because me and race are mad cool race say yo three i don't want to talk about that shit. i said all right race, i'm gonna leave it alone because <laughs> you know why because Royce want to prioritize his peace. Absolutely. <laughs> you, get, you get to a certain point in life. It's absolutely, like absolutely, absolutely. A good night's sleep is everything. It is, though. It is. You need to sleep at night. As a 40-year-old man, I can attest to that, brother. I can attest to that, man. Uh, I, brother, I appreciate you, King. Appreciate you, brother, man. Have a good one. You too, man. Rob Mark, 